Today's gonna be nothing fancy. It's gonna be part two. The first time using my Bruntmore enamel cast iron skillet pan dish brazier casserole. You call it whatever you want to call it, but I'm gonna cook everything in this. We're gonna start simple with some sauteed onions and some cheeseburgers. That's it, folks. It's Friday night. Welcome back. Now let's get cooking with TGG. And don't forget to check out Benchmark Signs and Gifts. As you see here, a nice engraved cutting board. This is solid maple, I do believe. They have others available. They have cheese and meat trays. They also do full-size signs. If you guys, up here, Jackie. If you guys dream it, they could carve it. Check out Benchmark Signs and Gifts. And don't forget to use Todd10, T-O-D-D-1-0, for a 10% discount. I think this pan transfers the heat pretty good. Warms up pretty fast here. That's at six and a half. Butter, let me get a spoon. Jackie, we got a spoon here. Up in here, up in here, look at that. How about some onions? All right, let's get that lid off. Listen to that goodness. Listen to that goodness, huh? So this is my first time with this pan and uh, I guess I'm not used to it. So it's already browning the butter. I turned the heat up a little bit to seven and a half. We're going to go back to six and a half. And quite honest, maybe I'll go down to six. We'll keep it a little bit lower. But if you guys are used to using these pans, I didn't put any non-stick stuff to the bottom, just butter. And uh, the pan starts to brown up on the bottom there. I'm sure it'll clean up easy, but leave your comments below. How you should be cooking with these pans that are enamel coated cast iron skillets. Maybe they're supposed to brown up like that pretty quick. I don't even have it that hot. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll come back. I'll add some salt pepper. We'll put that lid on and be good to go. So I get a call from the sidelines. Put me in coach. No. My wife. Hey, are we having asparagus? Well, yeah, we are now. <laughs> so I added some asparagus to these onions. So let's see. Again, this is all about the pan, folks, not my meal. Can't criticize my meal, but I'll tell you what, so far I'm liking it. I'm okay with a little bit of color down at the bottom that just comes right off. I don't even know if you could use metal. I didn't read the instructions on this pan. First, enamelize iron cast iron pan for us. I think it works pretty nice. I like the weight of that lid. Definitely keeps all the heat in. So let's come back to this in a bit. See how it looks. Yes, the handles even on the stove top, they get warm for sure. Uh, the top, interesting. Interesting enough, folks. That's okay. That handle, not too bad at all. Not too bad. You're not going to burn yourself, but the actual pan, of course, is going to transfer and burn you up. One thing I noticed right out of the rip that this cooked my asparagus to el dente and my onions really quick. So this holds heat evenly, distributed evenly, I should say. And with this heavy-duty lid keeping the steam in, um, I'm real impressed. All my other calphalon and different other pans seem to like cook really uneven, but this was pretty even cooked and quick. Decent sized pan, four nice sized burgers, and uh, liking the sounds of this thing so far. Probably too early, but that's okay. Not burning up, that's all right. Looking good. I only had it on there a couple minutes on the first side with the lid closed. I had to drop it down to five on the electric because they're starting to cook up pretty fast, pretty good. So you can probably even turn it down to three and a half and let them steam up, cook throughout. That took like less than a minute to get that cheese done. Woo, that pan got a workout, folks. Holy mackerel. That's what I wanted to see. Look at that. See the scrapes right off. Well, we'll let you know at the end of this on the clean time. So this was not a food review, although this is going to be scrum daily umptious. Jackie's going to put on some... What are you putting on there, Jackie? Just, on the side! I just want to dip a little. Blue cheese. Ken's. Ken's blue cheese is the best. Thanks, Ken. Right, Jackie? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop it. 
How good, Jackie? Oh, God, let's see. Let's see. Big bite. Big bite. Come on. You can no. do it. Mm -mm. No big bite? Come on. For the gram. No. Come on. So you put my picture on it. No, I'm not going to put your picture on it. Go ahead. Mm -mm. I promise. Go ahead. No Let's more. Oh, 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 oh. How's the burger with the onion? It's so good. It's so good. Did I, I do something onions. right? I love onions. Oh, she loves onions. She loves a the burger. Little dab of that blue cheese. Anyway, folks, let's eat this meal and then go see what the pan looks like when we clean it up. Okay. All right, we got our scraper. We're going to bring a semi warm pan over to hot water. We're going to fill that sucker up and we're going to put some soap in there. All right, watch out, Jack. Bring it back. We're going to set it down right here. It's still a little bit warm. We're going to spray a little bit of suds in that sucker. What a mess. I mean, what honestly. Mess. All right. That's I, how we roll. I wouldn't have done that. It's cooking with TGG. That's how we roll. I wouldn't have done that. Too. All right. It's setting no. up. It's setting up. Look. No, you put, place the pan on the side in the thing. On the thing. No, in the, in the sink. Okay, let's see. Well, I think we're going to let this set up and come back, folks. All right. We let it set up a little bit. Not too long. The pan was still warm. You can see that color of water is getting pretty nasty. So hopefully this is easy to take off here. Look at that. Have this scraper. Is this a pampered chef? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're the best things. Pampered chef. Gotta have like 10 of them. There you go. Look at the hard stuff is off. We're going to take a little bit of a scrubby. A little bit of elbow grease. Oh, my God. It's right off. Oh, it's coming right off. Jackie, look at I didn't even spray this. I just put butter. We washed it by hand, right, Jackie? Yeah. When we bought it. Out of the box. Yeah. A little bit of elbow grease, folks. Look at that. Oh. But I'll tell you what, look at it. Like freaking brand new. We'll still probably put it in the washer if we can. Mm -hmm. Jackie wants to read it. Oh, getting everywhere. Yeah, I don't like that. Getting everywhere. Alright, let's read the back. See if this can go in the washer. Oh, nothing. Yeah, so we gotta look online. I don't know. Leave in the comments below. Can we put this thing in a dishwasher? But it cleaned up nice, so not bad. In conclusion, besides my sleepy, brand new, mini golden duty, <laughs> mini golden doodle puppy, I would say we got a winner. One of the biggest things, that was a quick hand wash. We're going to put it in the dishwasher if we can. One of the number one things I found with this, because I think how it holds its heat, cooks like that Dutch oven, this heavy lid, it sped up my cooking process, Jackie. Yeah. Probably, I don't want to use the word in half, but honest, did it not? Do that. We don't cook I, I know, but just in general, we use, give me my pan. Where's the pan we use? Here. Typically, we cook burgers and something like this. And not to knock this pan, because it, it, it has been a godsend and lifesaver, okay? But this thing right here cut my cooking time in half. I overcooked the burgers, but now I know I could turn that heat way down. And it cooks really even, actually. Everything was burnt, everything was cooked, but it was even. It wasn't spotty. So there you go. I would say part number two, out of the gate, cooking burgers, onions, and asparagus was an A+. Plus. For the Bruntmore, what's this pan called? I can't see that. Rotisserie part. pan, I think. Enamelized cast iron skillet? rotisserie skillet, pan, dish, whatever you want to call it. Buy one. Cook fresh, cook often, and keep cooking with TGG. Mm -hmm.